I don't think I have the video to play. The video is not really that important for this. Uh, this is a brief DSP update. I actually have two DSP updates. So there will be a secret DSP update that you have to keep your eyes peeled for. Um, so apparently, Dark Side Phil has had this guy called One Minute Man who has consistently given DSP, no matter what stream he's doing, what game it is, how down bad he is, like no, how shitty his gameplay is, has consistently given Dark Side Phil. $50 a day, every day, for years and years. And nobody knew who he was. Nobody knew what his motivations were. But he was there day after day, every stream, dropping uh, our boy DSP a, a $50 tip for reasons unknown. Um, however, uh, the donations have suddenly and inexplicably stopped, which led many DSP minds, the great minds of the DSP hatersphere, to uh, query aloud, what has happened to One Minute Man? Because apparently, um, based on what I've been told, he has never gone dry. That, that pay pig has always paid up every stream without, without a, missing a fucking beat for years. And then suddenly he's gone. Did he die? Did he die in a car accident? Did he go broke? Is he in the streets now? I mean, if he was in the streets, he'd probably panhandle and still get DSP his money. So what happened? Well, apparently DSP was kicking around the idea that he would try to enter politics. He would try to become like a Hassan Piker and do like a political stream where everybody would get to hear the 190,000 IQ takes that Dark Side Phil would have uh, for how he would fix the United States of America. Um, I don't know if this has happened. Uh, I don't think it has. But apparently, um, there is an explanation for this. And uh, the belief is, is that based on One Minute Man's social media profiles, which have were just uncovered, he is very political himself. And it, the, the suspicion is, is that... One Minute Man has been trying to persuade Dark Side Phil to become a politics streamer, a bread tuber. I don't know if he'd be a bread tuber. He probably has like the worst, most cringy boomer takes possible. Um, but it's it's the suspicion is is that One Minute Man was trying to get him to do politics, and more importantly, his politics. And Dark Side Phil did not want to be paid off, um, so he said no. And one minute man said, fine, I won't give you $50 a day every day for the rest of my life then. And now he's in real proper dire straits now because $50 a day is a significant part of his income. That's like a lot of money. So now he's just not getting that. And uh, Dark Side Phil's income is based almost entirely upon like a concrete slab of the most diehard fans, the most low intelligence, but consistent fans in the world. Uh, it does not grow in size. It does not climb in value. It's just there and losing one, especially one minute man is apparently like a, a significant loss of revenue for him. Um, he does say Apparently five years it was five years that he was doing this. Uh, this is what he this is what he said that people believe is like a roundabout way of addressing one minute man. I'll just play like like a couple seconds of it because he addresses it pretty much head on into the into the video. Whoops! <laughs> How do I feel about big tippers getting upset not not being able to control me or the topics I talk about? Listen, it's this simple, okay? The rules apply to everyone and always have. It's never been any different. I've been doing this for 16 years, all right? And not once ever in my 16-year run as a YouTuber have I let someone who contributes control me or my content, all right? If there's topics that I feel are off limits or I don't want to talk about, I'm not going to talk about them. And if someone gets upset because of that, it's just too bad, you know? It doesn't even matter if it's uh, a detractor, if it's a actual you know, viewer and fan of my content, if it's one of my biggest supporters ever, it doesn't matter who it is. Everyone has to abide by the same rules and I retain the control over my content, period. You know, if I don't want to take it in a certain direction that I feel is going to be negative for the channel overall or the stream or the viewers, I will not do that, all right? So it's that simple. And, you know, sometimes it happens where over the years, 
you get a change in attitudes, you get a change in all kinds of stuff. It's happened many different times over the years, if you haven't noticed. Um, it's not just one particular person. So, listen, what it might very well be is that at one point, someone really likes my content, and so they want to support it. But then over a course of several years, maybe they fall out of love with my content, and they don't like it as much, but now they want to participate in a different way. So now they want to stir conversation, whatever it could be. But the truth is, it's never going to change, okay? It's always going to be uh, the same. Nothing is going to, to change around here, all right? You're not going to see me being completely controlled uh, by anyone or anything. Any it does sound like a principled take. However, I have a sneaking suspicion that Dark Side Phil is just somebody who can never be compelled to do anything he doesn't want to do. If he doesn't like doing it, he will never do it. So it's sort of like a incidentally a convi a conviction. Um, not that he is a, a man of principles, but rather he's just very stubborn. And it's easy for him to, to say, like, I don't change my content ever for anybody. Um, and that's like a principle. It's really just like he doesn't, he can't, <laughs> he literally can't do anything he doesn't want to do. But, uh, yeah, just a thought. Uh, that's the DSP update. There's another small DSP update coming up, but not right now. Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice!